Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to connect your Flutter app to the cloud. I have a small app that shows a Google map. And on top of that map, I want to overlay a couple of markers. And the position of these markers are generated from data retrieved from the cloud. In the very first step, I create several markers from hard-coded positions and lay them over the Google map. The end result looks something like this. I have my map and a bunch of markers set over the map. Then I used the toJSON function to generate the JSON code, printed it out and copy pasted it into a separate file. So it looks like this. I have a dummy positions.json file that contains the JSON code for my positions, which is a list of markers with an ID and a position. I can use this JSON also as a string in my app to generate the classes from that string and verify that my from JSON function works correctly. I have placed my JSON file onto a web server. In this case, it's an AWS S3 uh, bucket, and I can access it in a browser to verify that it's accessible via the internet. So the same content that we see here in VS Code is also here in the browser. And I see here it's accessible via HTTPS from the S3 bucket and I see the, uh, the location of the file. Now I want my application to retrieve the file from the internet. For now it's a static file, but later I can replace a link to the static file to a link to an API and generate the data out of a database dynamically and with changing data. I will need an additional package in Flutter to access a file via HTTP. Let's have a quick look at pub.dev. I search in pub.dev for HTTP and on top of the list with a high popularity and many likes is the package HTTP. So I have a closer look at that one. It seems fairly simple to, uh, to use. And let's have a quick look at the installation. Very much straightforward. And the example, it's really very simple to use. It does support the get function. And on the readme, I saw also the post function, which is all I need. Maybe it can support more functions. So I will give this one a try. To install the package, I need to go to VS Code in my dependencies and add HTTP and it will download the package automatically and will do everything that needs to be done. In my project, I capsule everything regarding HTTP in a separate file. So I created the HTTP loader, very simple class, just importing the package HTTP.dot and I create a class HTTP loader. It has a simple function HTTP get, which opens the connection does a get on the um, on the resource and returns a future to the response body. Very simple, but all I need for now. And then for each specific uh, URI that I want to retrieve, I create a separate function. So the code looks clean everywhere else, get positions. Then here I have the server and the, the name of the file that I'm retrieving. And that's everything regarding HTTP in my project. In my positions file, I changed the way the create dummy positions works. It creates an instance of the HTTP loader, calls get positions to retrieve the data from the cloud. That is a string and I will pass that string in JSON and create the classes from JSON and use them on my positions. And that is all there is to it. Now the markers on my map are generated from information retrieved from the cloud. In my next video, I will set up the API in AWS and generate the JSON file from a database in the cloud. Then I can make updates, save additional locations to the table, and they will, will directly be represented in the map. If you want to see how to build a backend for this, please subscribe to my channel and follow the next videos.